and welcome along everyone. Today's video is to do with a ball affix valves, the little ball ones. These ones here, this type of thing, you've all seen them everywhere and this really is kind of a, a warning video not to use these. Now you get them as part of flexes like this, you'll get the valve on there and that's fair enough if it's on there don't worry about it, you can still use it. So, what is the problem with these valves then? Well, I know because a lot of you have informed me that you've been getting leaks from these and you don't know how to fix them. And there is no way of fixing them once you get a leak. Here's the valve and you get the leak out of here, out of the actual turn part. So when you turn it off or on, it starts leaking from there. There's no way to fix it. You've either got to hope that it will take back up, which it does sometimes, uh, and it obviously stops on its own. But a lot of you find, especially the hot one, that it doesn't. And the little seals inside these are inadequate for the job. These look nice, they're in line, they're neat. They look, you know, the part for the job. They don't look too unobtrusive. But in actual fact, they're only really any good, I think, for the first six months to a year of installation. After that, if they're not turned as well, they kind of become corroded in there. And as soon as you turn it with a screwdriver, like you do this type, then what happens? The little seal inside there breaks, and then you start to get the water out. I mean, how many of you have done a washing machine tap? This is the same type of thing. You have a little handle on it. And usually, if I like this one, I took it out the other week. It's gone solid. It's only actually moving that amount. Look at that. And if I, when I have, what I did was I forced it right off, and once I did that, like that, you can hear it squeaking. I got to there, done the job, a leak on a hose, put it back on, turn it on, it got to there, the valve, no more, and then it started to leak out of the top. Hopeless, absolute rubbish. Now I know we've got to use these as well because, you know, these are washing machine taps. There are probably better designs with big levers, but you know you're stuck with this but this is not so much the problem because they very rarely turn off as these ball of fix things here so I will show you what I recommend to use in their place this here is more the ticket this is a full bore isolation ball valve uh, it's still the same valve inside of the ball but compression made much better quality and a proper lever handle so it won't look too bad if you can just take the handle off which as you can see you could unbolt it there and put the handle back on it won't look quite so bad but I do like it is full bore you're not going to get any restriction in there and this will be a whole lot more reliable than those horrible little ball of fix things that we always get don't we <laughs> and by the way you can see that that blue handle one is for cold water you get a, a red handle for the hot one and that's down there so they're often bought together obviously they have more money than the ball of fixers but much better quality and something that's going to last. There you are then, thought something that's going to last and not give you any trouble later on, pay a little bit more now, gain later. As I say, you can leave the handle on if they're in cupboards or out the sight, no problem, or if you, they are in sight. Of course, those particular ones I've just showed you, you can take the handle off so it doesn't look quite so bad. Just remember where you put them <laughs> in case you need them for emergency. Okay, but these little things, I really think I'm now getting more trouble than they're worth and unreliability built in these <laughs> little valves. Okay, that's all, just a little technical one for me because I've had so many people actually say to me on my channel about these valves that they've got leaks and trouble from them and that they're not actually turning at all, they've gone solid and they've only been in a couple of years. It's just the nature of them, they're just so cheap. You know, what do you expect? You pay a couple of quid for one of these little things or you can pay five, six quid for a proper valve and get the full flow, whereas these are restricted and cut down the flow as well. Okay, that's it. Just a little one from me on that subject. All my stuff, you know to go, usual place, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.